learning with this RD350 that there's still just crevices in my mind that are just missing uh, information to just fully understand what I'm doing. So we went to the Central Library to look up um, a couple of motorcycle books that I wanted to check out. I had bookmarked some two-stroke books that I wanted to look at and I was fortunate enough to actually pick up the climbers one that everyone on the forums had been telling me about. So I went to go check that out. So I definitely might be picking that one up to buy. Um, but it was so weird when I was looking at books, there were four other books that I was looking for. And the four books, as I was going down different aisles looking for these books, they were all taken. There were these gaps in between. I think someone is looking the same exact books as me because this is the fourth aisle and a two-stroke book is missing. Fourth time. Hmm, who else is building a two-stroke? So someone else is building a two-stroke and one of the other books I was looking for, which is pretty funny, um, was souping a two-stroke. <laughs> you can add 10 horsepower is what the, the tip or the main uh, theme of that book was and I just I'm like oh I thought it would be fun to check out someone has it um but anyway so that was a bust uh I guess I'll just check online or Amazon and maybe Barnes and Noble and see what they've got and figure out what books that I can go pick up it's just for me I feel that I need to read a book and have the book with me as I'm sitting there at the engine I feel that if I read a book and see the pictures in a book the touch of the pages of the book, it just helps me learn better rather than, um, you know, I can watch as much YouTube as possible and then read online, but the comfort of having a book and just flipping through the pages when you're like, oh, wait, what? And you want to rewind and read back into the, the book, rewind or flip back in the book. But anyway, so that was the goal today. Um, I'll just keep doing more research. So hope you guys enjoy this next clip and I'll see you guys in the next one. This one had I think, like some bug, bug stuff on it, like mud. I'm trying to get that off. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just... Like these threads, blasting the corrosion.
this one fin down. So do like a pretty light coat at first. Oops, same way. Just kind of going around, trying to get like a light coat on everything. You kind of have to go at an angle to get down in there. You have to like reverse. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to be able to get it all the way down in there, but... Okay, we'll flip it over here in a second, but do all these parts you can see right now. You can see it.